may find it difficult to uh, have agreement with one another today, but if we keep our heads on straight, at least we can get clear about what our differences really are. I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine for Planet Pulse on this Wednesday, April 2nd. The sun lines up with outer planets once a year because from the Earth's going around the sun and it looks like the sun lines up with these planets. And today is the annual alignment or joining of the sun and Uranus, Uranus, the planet of shock and of awakening. Uranus, the awakener. Uranus is radical, it's inventive. And today as the sun lines up with Uranus, it's like, <laughs> The lights go on. We yeah, get clear. We it get can, clear. Right. We can we can get clear, but we can also get crazy. There's a lot of energy oh, yeah, that's that. working through the crazy. nervous system. The moon today is is in Taurus, which wants to settle things down. But in addition to this liberating, innovative, revolutionary, independent Sun Uranus energy, Mars is also being triggered in a bunch of ways. This is not a mellow day. And yet there is, hopefully at the end of the day, some reason to put it in a logical framework. Well, you know, yesterday you talked about how the sun's square yesterday to Jupiter um, kind of was about proportion being, uh, you know, and it's almost like today that proportion gets blown out of whack completely. And yet Mercury, the planet of logic, the planet of, of thinking in its harmonious trine with Saturn, the stable planet, it gives us a sense of proportion control. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. But we're not probably going to get that until this evening. The Saturn. It, when it's Mercury. too late. <laughs> well, no. What it, what it can be, it can be too late for people who just shut the door and communicating with one another or thinking through their own issues. But sometimes we have to make a mess. We need to bring things right. up that are chaotic and out of control so we know what the truth is. And I think from there, if we can do it without being too destructive, the Mercury-Saturn trine at the end of the day offers some intellectual maturity. I think that's the case. I hope that's the case. But remember, even though the sun, which lines up with Uranus, every year for a day or so. This year, while the sun is lining up with Uranus, it's also yesterday squaring with Jupiter, tomorrow squaring with Pluto. There's this, there are other planets in the mix that really makes this energy very, very powerful, even palpable. And, and, and I hope that we can have enough sense that the Taurus moon gives us the common sense to not get so crazy that we lose all proportion, that we keep a glimmer, you know, of, of what reality is over here so that we can work our way back to something once we've done what we need to do. I'm Rick Levine. And I'm Jeff Jower, inviting you to join Rick and me here every day to keep your finger on the pulse of the planets. <music>